Hi, this is Rick Hansen on pausing, the 25th practice in my book, Just One Thing. Imagine riding on a bike with no brakes. What would that be like? It would either be really boring or you would crash into things. Neither one is very good. In the same way in life, we need to be able to slow down or stop. In a word, pause. Pausing buys us time so that we don't put our foot in our mouth. I know about that one myself. And also pausing gives us time to build up resources over here, kind of muster our own strengths over here, so that when we do step in and we do engage, we can do so much more effectively. So there are a lot of good ways to pause. Um, I'll mention a couple. One is before doing things that are routine, like literally starting to eat a meal or uh, walking out the door once you've uh, gotten ready to go off to work, let's say, take a few seconds and just gather yourself. Know what it likes, know what it feels like rather, to pause before initiating an action. And then the other suggestion is definitely with other people, when it starts getting heated, slow it down. As a longtime therapist, I've really come to appreciate that most bad things happen in couples when they start speeding up. So, may you pause.